द मोस्ट कॉमन क्वेश्चन दैट कम्स टू अ प्रोग्रामर्स माइंड इज इज डी एस ए इम्पॉर्टेंट टू लर्न और वाई शुड ए लर्न डी एस ए वेदर यू आर ए कॉलेज ग्रेजुएट और ए वर्किंग प्रोफेशनल दिस इज अ कॉमन क्वेश्चन यू माइड बी एमिंग फॉर अ जॉब इन सॉफ्टवेयर डेवलपमेंट डेटा एनालिसिस और डेटा साइंस एंड यू ऑलरेडी हैव द स्किल्स फॉर दैट रोल नाउ इज इट नेसेसरी टू लर्न डी एस ए आई एम हेयर टू क्लैरिफाई दिस एज्यूम अ कंपनी इज हायरिंग फॉर अ स्पेसिफिक रोल हुई माइड बी अ डेवलपमेंट रोल और अ मशीन लर्निंग इंजीनियरिंग रोल एंड देर आर थाउजेंड्स ऑफ शॉर्ट लिस्टेड कैंडिडेट्स फॉर दैट पर्टिकुलर रोल दे ऑल हैव द सिमिलर स्किल सेट्स एंड हैव डन सम गुड प्रोजेक्ट्स नाउ टेल मी हाउ विल एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन पिक द करेक्ट कैंडिडेट फ्रॉम दैम on what basis will they know who should be the right candidate for this role it is difficult right yes it is difficult companies always need a candidate who have a strong programming mindset and candidate should be a critical thinkers able to solve the complex issues because when you start working you will face new challenges every day tackle real world problems and where one solution may not be perfect you have to try different approaches and candidate should be uh, open minded for this this means someone who is logically very strong that's why it is important to test their problem solving abilities and that's the reason most of the company set the first round as a dsa round and even uh, uh, in most of the product based company have two dsa rounds that's why dsa is a must learn thing whether you are from a tech or a non tech background doesn't matter if you are a good problem solver then there are plenty of companies who need you now ds is a typically a subject studied in computer science degree but if you are not from a cs background say electronics electrical or non tech background but you have mastered in dsa then most of the company door will be open for you and trust me when you get a job in day to day life yes you may not be solved dsa problem in your project but it will help you to think better and write better code optimize the code hope now you understand what is the need of dsa okay we have talked a lot now uh, let's discuss what are data structures and algorithms are a data structure is a specialized format for organizing processing retrieving and storing data what does that means as you a scenario of a library in your college there are different racks each rack has different shelves to store books and different shelves are allocated for different subjects think about why it is necessary we can store books here and there right or we can allocate different shelves for different books then what will be the problem will not be optimizing the space and accessibility will be the problem so when you search for a particular book it will be very difficult to search if we don't organize properly so that's why we organize our library system very accurately so that uh, we can easily access any book consider another example you all use social media application right when you open an app you will see the most recent post will appear first so for that we need some kind of data structure so that when we upload any post it will remain in the top so this is how we store and display data depending on our different use cases take another example of dictionaries how in dictionaries we store key value pairs so uh, there are plenty of examples uh, we'll be uh, seeing this uh, when we further go further in this video okay next what are algorithms are algorithms are set of instruction that dictate how data is processed to produce meaningful results let's assume two points point a and point b you have to travel from point a to point b and you have two options you can go by road or you can take a flight 
but you can't simply say that taking a flight is a better choice because it depends on the distance between the two points if the distance is short then traveling by road will be a better choice but if the distance is long then taking flight is advisable take another example uh take the same example of the library scenario so when you are searching for a particular book how do you search you might be search one by one through each and every racks and shelves or you first go to the particular department section then search that particular subject rack then in each shelf where books are from different authors a store you only search that particular shelf to find the book you need similarly to solve a particular problem there are different approaches but you have to find the best algorithm to solve it i hope now you have a basic understanding of data structures and algorithms so what actually they are why do we need this i think uh, now uh, you have the clarity in your mind here is a good news we are launching a new lecture series it is designed to help you learn data structures and algorithms using python language this will be a beginner friendly course if you don't know python don't worry we'll teach you from the scratch even if you don't have any programming language knowledge or if you are not from non tech non cs background don't worry this uh will be for you will teach you from the basic to advanced level only requirement is you have to be dedicated and consistent through this course hi i'm saurabh jana i'm your instructor for this course i'm working as a full stack web developer at virzuara have experience working in different industries i have worked in both front end and back end technologies and have been involved in building highly scalable and high performing applications for millions of users to access and the main thing is i am not from a tech background i have done my masters in physics from university of calcutta then i transitioned into a software engineering field i learned the skills through self learning utilizing online resources and tutorials and also solved a lot of problems and done some good projects also so if i can do it you can too and currently i'm working on a ml project at vizwara now let's take a look uh, at our course content what will be covered throughout this lecture we'll be starting with list so that is basically array data structure then we'll be go through strings set dictionaries stack queue data structure linked list tree and finally we will be learning graph data structures so these are the basic data structures we will be covering in our lecture series now for algorithms we will first learn two pointers technique then sliding window technique then searching sorting recursion backtracking greedy and lastly dynamic programming first we will guide you how to solve basic problems how to solve problems using brute force approach then you will be learn different ways to solve a particular problem so that you will get to know which one is the most optimized approach then will be solved easy level questions on lit code then progress to medium and eventually hard questions so that will be step by step process and trust me it will be a fun to solve problems you will definitely enjoy this and after this course you will definitely will be master in dsa and can crack any coding interviews even if a new problem comes you will be able to understand and approach any kind of problem thank you that's it for today see you in the next video